Ooh. There's a lot of stuff out today. It's Monday, so we're going to go through everything. What's come out today? What are the nice things we're waiting for, for next week? Yeah, some good stuff. Uh, I'm also looking at a few pre-orders. There's not that really that much this week that's going to make you going to go. Ooh. And also, um, I've had one thing. One, I've got like ten things, but I've got one thing turn up. My post office sucks ass. And then of course I'll just remind you about the prizes for Friday with a little extra spice in there for you as well. Let's get straight into this because it's going to take a while. Now, this is for tomorrow. But Mulan just appeared over the weekend out of nothing. We have a beautiful, beautiful 4K steelbook. $32.99, so taking the piss guys. Then we have the, uh, the 4K and we have the normal Blu-ray as well. They're all out tomorrow. So the tent for that one. Let me know if you're going to pick one up. I would pick it up, but I, just, you know, I want it to be still because I'm not paying that. Mm, nah, can't do it. Next, we have the Star Wars Force Awakens 4K steel book. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, the artwork's amazing on that one. I'll give them that. As long as you actually you can get them out to people not bashed, and the same with of course Solo. That's out today as well. Let me know. Have, have you received yours? Is it bashed? Is it cut? Is there a nice little spine slash? Hopefully not. Hopefully they've learned some lessons. Another still book out today was Waterworld. Um, there's not really that much you can do with the artwork on this except have a city underwater and a little boat on top, and that's basically what they've done. Uh, 4K, it's a 4K still book, so it looks okay, but there's no way in hell I'd pay full price for it. Next, we have Oblivion. A good favourite film of mine. Uh, this is a 4K still book and it's a special edition version as well. The reason I really like this is it's a natively filmed 4K film. Oh yeah. That's why the visuals are so nice. Next is Bride with a White Hair. Never heard of this one but I do like the artwork on this one. Let me know if you pick that one up. Uh, the 4K version special edition for Lady Killers. We're not even talking, what was it, was it one in the 60s or something? This is like back in the 30s, I think. And there's a normal version of it as well. Have not seen this one, but I mean, I liked the remake, remake, remake with Tom Hanks. So it's not too bad. Next, we have a film called Waxworks. Not the one, the horror one, where that werewolf takes over a boy and he replaces him in the diorama. This is a different one. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 and 2. I've heard these are cheesy. But I've heard they've got quite a cult following as well, so don't know about that one. Next, we have Shonen Wooden Men. Yes, and now the Jackie Chan hits the shelves. Probably wouldn't pay a full price for this one myself because it's quite an old one, and there's only so much you can do with resolution to Blu ray on that one, so I don't think the pitch quality would be that good. We have a 4K special edition of Breathless, along with the normal version as well. Universal Soldier The Return. I mean Goldberg's acting in this is so wooden and crap and you know, the scenery to them is a dark studio with one bit of wood to make it look like a corridor. That's how bad it was in my opinion. But they're limiting it to 3,000. They're making it sound like it's special. They're limiting limit it to 3,000 because they didn't want to spend much on the product run. So I'm not too sure about that one. Something called Burst City which I've never even heard of. Then we have <clears throat> How You Live Your Story. That's one of these docu it looks like a documentary film type thing. Definitely not my type of thing. Smiley's People. Looks quite cool. Uh, Baba Yaga. It's basically Devil Witch. Never watched that. Um, I think The Babadook really, really, really scarred me. That's a fucking crap film. And I've stayed away from stuff like that ever since. We have the Tommy Lee, the Tommy Steele story, which is a musician from the 60s over in the UK here. Um, I imagine that would be quite popular, actually. We also have Children of Dune. James McAvoy's in this, and he looks young. Um, never watched this one myself, though. The Two Jakes, which I know Kermit's Frog picked up. Uh, that doesn't, Kermit's Ghost, not Kermit's Frog. Kermit's Ghost. 
Um, yeah, I do like Jack Nicholson, but I don't think I pay full price for it. And we also have um, the Victorious Time Lord, so Time Lord Victorious. There's so many different Blu-rays for Doctor Who, I think they've ruined it, I really do. Um, we have O. Henry's Full House, which is one I have not got a sodding clue about, but it's out. Uh, the Villa Ride is another one, it's just a, a, an older style film. The Sons of Katie Elder is another premium collection one for HMV. Does look quite cool actually. And and with an E season two. I've never even heard of season one, let alone seen season two. And that's your lot for this week. Let me know what have you actually picked up down below? Because remember, we're right in the middle of a fucking inexpensive month. I mean, they pop Mulan in on us as well. And as we go into next week, the next big hitter, the Dawn of the Dead big cube box sets come out. That's 4K and normal. Lots of people are wanting that. Uh, we have Star Wars The Last Jedi 4K Steelbook. Uh, we have Evil Dead in 4K as well. Don't know whether I would bother with that one. I mean, that was always a grainy film to start with, so. Hellboy 2, the 4K Steelbook. Yeah, it's alright. Good visuals on the film, good artwork, but it's not the best film ever, really, is it? Get Out in 4K. Don't know why anyone would buy that one. You can pick out Get Out in 4K for a tenner now, so why have, why, why have it as a steelbook? Um, Tremors, Shrieker Island finally arrives. Oh, I'm so not sure about that one. But I'll, I'll give it a chance. We have the cartoony version, as I call them, of Aquaman 4K Steelbook and Wonder Woman 4K Steelbook. As you can see, covers are okay, but it's not my thing. And then the Disney classic set, the big boy. Yep, he's out as well. And that's available in DVD and Blu-ray, but I don't need to buy that anymore because the ones that you cannot get on Blu-ray are DVDs in that package. They're not Blu-rays, they are DVDs. Now, if they were all Blu-ray, I might have soaked up the money for something like that, but no. Won't do it. Can't do it, won't do it. So let me know what other things you're thinking of picking up next week there, in the comments, guys. Now, let's jump over to pre-orders for a second. Now, one that is, I saw it coming out in America, excuse the pun, and I was hoping we'd get over it, and finally they put the date. Coming to America, the 4K Steelbook, which I really, really want. $24.99 out on the 30th of November. I love that film. It's brilliant. The visuals are going to look amazing. Can't wait on that one. One which a lot of people were waiting for confirmation on is Cobra Kai Season 1 and 2 in the double box set. For 20 quid. I think that's a brilliant price. That's coming out on the 4th of January 2021. I think a lot of people are going to be buying that one, especially at that price. And I mentioned it last week about Short Circuit 2 having no date, but prices in excess of £25-£26. They've confirmed it's out on the 22nd of March 2021, and they want £25. Quid. It's not even 4K. So that price better go fucking down. Alright? Put your fucking price down, you bricks. And last but not least, I had to show you this. I think I've showed it about four months ago, but it's finally coming. There's a fan edition of the film Maximum Risk with Jean-Claude Van Damme. It's 129 euros from the German Amazon site. Look at this boy. Look at him. Look at it. Would you really want to bust with him? I, I just don't know. It's out the 19th of November. 130 euro, for God's sake. Oh, that's a push. You have to be a real fan about that one, but let me know. Are you thinking of buying that? That's it for pre order Like I say, not too much that's exciting me right now, but I will keep delving, of course. Uh, across the weekend with Zoom, there was a few little bits of sale in there. Same as Zari, they had a couple of bits. Uh, but nothing really that made you, made you go, ooh. So I didn't really mention much of it. I did manage to get out my following week worldwide releases onto my Facebook page though so glad you, everyone appreciated that now where is it my only thing that turned up was the box set for Indiana Jones complete adventure it's the one that's slightly the open up pack rather than that plastic one that one 
for freight quid. That's worth anybody's money at eight quid. So for one pickup, I'm sure more pickups will turn up tomorrow. I really hope they do. But let's take a look at the prizes for this Friday. Now I went to Samey Samey. So basically, there are two copies of this. We have Sausage Party. So we have the bad end of the old animated. Then we have Plaudy with Chance of Meatballs in 3D as well. On the good end of uh, animated. Uh, of course, I've got two copies of that for everybody. Now the two people that win that. I'll then scrunch up your names, roll them in my hands, and pick one of them again. And I'm going to whack you a Force Awakens as a little extra little snifty for you. And that's your prizes for this Friday. Now, um, I'm not going to promise a video tomorrow because I really am not sure what I want to do with it yet. But it will be something good this week. I will aim to look at a few different price hits that are going on at the moment. Just look at the state of play with CEX, so uh, see if their prices are getting better for everybody. And I'll present it in a decent format for you to make some informed decisions because that's what I'm here for. Take care now, enjoy the rest of your night, guys. I'm at 461 uh, subscribers now, oh, only 39 to go, and then we get a big prize. Will we get there just in time for Christmas and the 12 days of giveaways? I now have at least two prizes in that now. I'm starting to pile them up, guys. Take care, enjoy the rest of your night. It pissed down all day here, so I hope you're at least dry at home. Because it absolutely wanked it down out here. It's always horrible. Take care. See you later.